Are you sure about that? To Rakitic. Iniesta with a bit of a gap. Neymar the back heel. Iniesta! Oh! How's it going lads, Boko here and today we are taking a look at Jose Sorozabal. Before we jump into it lads, make sure you like the video and if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and yeah, let's jump right to it. So Jose Sorozabal, first things first guys, if you do get this manager, you'll have to take care of two things. One is that because he is a passing based manager, it's hard to play him in low team spirit and familiarity and secondly he has low manager skill. Now personally don't use the highest rated cards on all positions but if you do like to do that you're going to have to work around it or give him loads of manager tokens. But yeah moving on to the positions, the goalkeeper, it's the standard, use your trusted player. I use Donnarumma, he works fine. I suggest you use offensive goalkeeper because the defensive depth of this manager is quite high boys so you can but you can try whomever you like. Now for the centre backs. You can use any playstyle but you need quick centre backs. You don't really need your Van Dykes here because crosses are pretty simple to deal with as you have full backs and wide midfielders and CDMs but because the defensive depth line is high you need fast centre backs to help with those through balls. Also I sometimes like to get one of my centre backs into the attack lads so I suggest you guys keep one centre back that you trust to go forward here. For the fullbacks, on the left side use whomever, I suggest you use someone who's not super attacking like Carlos for example and that's because on the right you need a monster. You look closely and you'll see the right fullback is slightly higher up than other defenders and he attacks a lot. So use your best attacking fullback here, he's going to help you a lot. For the CDM here, you can use whomever you trust, you need a fast player but also someone who's strong. I, just, I suggest going for destroyers but if you have someone special that fits here use him. I use Vieira, he helps in the attack and he's great at defending too. So he just works. Uh, I sometimes use to anchor man here too so it's really just up to you. But now for the most important position on this manager guys. The CMF. You need an ultra attacking monster here. Whole players are suggested but you need someone who's short because this player will need to wiggle around defenders sometimes to create plays. This Iniesta card I'm using is fantastic in this position so try to use someone like him. I even used Riera here for a while uh, because he's very explosive in attack. Someone like him can work out too so test it out guys but uh, use a good player in this position it's very important. For the wide midfielder slides use prolific wingers. Now I know, I know lads that prolific wingers won't activate here but in this manager one unique thing is I feel wide midfielders cut inside a lot to help in passing and when that happens you need someone quick like a winger but don't use any tiny players like Messi for example because you need someone explosive who can help in passing and move on quick. For the MF lads this position is kinda open to experimentation, it depends on who you play and it depends on how you play and where you need the MF to be to make a proper choice. But whole players are suggested. I also used Hullet and Scholes and I like both of them a lot. Hullet kinda made smart runs and helped with the position where Scholes was quicker and was moving horizontally to help with the short passes everywhere so pick what you guys prefer, experiment, it's up to you. For the CF guys, now here is one of the issues with this manager. You can't use your Haaland's or Mbappe's here. You need players with good attacking AI and passing and someone who won't run ahead constantly. So most cool coaches are a no. I used Morientes and Van Bastion a lot and they were great. 
I also tried Benzema, Ronaldo and York and they were good too. I did use Lautaro Martinez too who is a poacher I know but he is very active in attack. But just don't use an explosive striker as you need this player to help with the passing. And yeah that's it for the position and playstyle lads. Before we get into the gameplay gaps I want you guys to let me know what video you want to see next. Let me know in the comments or in the community post or the shorts whatever just let me know alright. But yeah we'll move on to the clips and I'll let you know how I play this formation on the pitch. And yeah, see you in the next one.